thief tried to steal the joy from a couple on their wedding day. While they were taking their vows, the thief was breaking into their car, and now the newlyweds are scrambling to stop him from draining accounts and stealing their identity. Russell Kinsaw is learning more about the crime and the investigation from Jefferson County. Well, we met about a year, a year ago. And on May 28th, Diana and Daniel Sykes got married at the historic Sandy Creek Covered Bridge in Jefferson County, built in 1872. I'd actually showed him this park and he fell in love with this park. Well, like one of the things that made me fall in love with the bridge was the fact that like I love Washington Irving Story Sleepy Hollow. The special day started out so well. It's an amazing, beautiful ceremony. Yeah, it couldn't have turned out any better than what it did then. They didn't ruin our wedding. They are the thief or thieves that, while the couple exchanged their wedding vows, busted her car window and took valuable personal documentation. I didn't know what we would need for our marriage license, so I had my birth certificate in there, my social security card was in there, um, my deceased husband's death affidavit was in there. So she parked her car in this parking lot. It's important to point out that from here you can't see the covered bridge where the ceremony took place, and from there you can't see her car. She wanted to make sure that the groom didn't see the bride before the wedding. Both passenger windows were broken. Her purse and the maid of honor's purse and handgun were stolen. And then we walked over there and I seen it and I was just, I was ticked. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office has turned the case over to a detective and believes it was a crime of opportunity. They had to have seen us get out of the car. With nothing in your hands? With nothing in her hands. You think that was the tip off? I think that, I think that was somebody watching and waiting. Now they're scrambling to shut down their accounts and replace the stolen documents. Courthouse to get the license certified so we can get her ID and then once we're done here we got to go to the bank and get our bank account information changed completely. Mm -hmm. They're talking giving us all new account. The thieves got away with a lot but not everything. I'm trying not to be too frustrated because I don't want them to have had that power to run our day. In Jefferson County, Russell Kinsall, News 4. I love that they're trying to stay positive yeah, there. Yeah, really sad. Yeah, and, and another sad tidbit of this, Diana says that she recently changed her car insurance from full coverage to liability, Gosh. so paying for that damage is going to come out of their own pockets. And if you want to help the newlyweds, you can look inside Russell's story on your KMLV News app. Hoping the best for.